watching Flea, you've been watching Bootsy Collins, you've been listening to Larry Graham, you've been listening to Marcus Miller, you've been hearing all of this stuff about slap bass and you want to give it a go. Well, if you are in that beginner to intermediate stage of bass playing, this video is for you because I'm going to be talking about some of the most common mistakes I see bass players getting into when they're getting out the thumb and trying slap bass for the first time. So with that said, let's get into it. Now, the first thing I want to mention when it comes to playing slap bass is actually the instrument itself, because if your instrument is a little bit out of whack, it's not going to sound great and you're not going to be able to get that right vibe with it, okay? To get that sound, the action needs to be low enough to make that happen, okay? So make sure that your action isn't crazy high. Secondly, make sure that you've got newish strings on as well. And finally, when it comes to tone, make sure that the EQ on your amp has the bass at 12 o'clock, if not a little bit, you know, maybe one or two o'clock, the mid, you can actually dip it back a bit, okay? So reduce it. And then the treble, I like to actually just keep in the center, okay? So that's the EQ. And when it comes to the pickups as well, if you've got two pickups on your bass, I would recommend initially just to have both of them on, okay? So I've got both pickups on now, both volumes are up. Gives me a cool slap sound. If I take the bridge pickup all the way off, it's gonna give me Gonna give me more of a P bass vibe, which is cool, okay, but you don't want to solo the bridge pickup. If you solo the bridge pickup, for me, it just sounds like way too brittle for slap. So I would recommend both pickups on if you've got two pickups, or if you've got a P bass, you've only got one pickup, so hey ho. But if you've also got two pickups, you can experiment with that front pickup soloed as well. Now, the first big mistake I see many players getting tripped up on when it comes to the physical side of slap bass is actually using too much thumb movement and almost like doing this sort of like weird push thing. Most of the movement should be coming from the arm rotation. So I like to imagine grabbing a doorknob and actually rotating my arm. Let me show you. If you hold this all still here, you can actually rotate your arm like this, just like grabbing that doorknob, okay? And the way that I like to practice this or get students to practice is actually flipping the base around itself, okay? And just practicing doing this. I like to actually start practicing groupings. So you could do a grouping of two, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I'm accenting the ones. Remember to keep it super relaxed. Your entire arm should be relaxed. Now let's try, try groupings of three. Now the next big mistake I see people making is with incorrect slap technique, okay? And it's gonna depend, your slap technique will depend on whether you use down thumb or up thumb or parallel thumb, right? Okay, so if you are using down thumb, you are gonna use the bounce. The bounce is where, it's very linked to what we were talking about before with the rotation of the arm, but the thumb is gonna bounce off, okay? It's hitting the string and then bouncing straight off, okay? Just remember, when you flip that bass round, you can get that it is bouncing off. So make sure that you're not burying it. Now, the other mistake I see with slap technique is actually to do with the up thumb, okay? So you're not playing down thumb, you're playing up thumb. Now, when you do that, it's really important that you play through the string, through the string. It's not the same as the... That, you know, that downward thumb bounce, okay? It's not that you're playing... you're playing through the string, okay? Try it on one note to begin with, right? Let's just hold, hold that G down. And you're actually hitting the string with a slightly different area of the thumb as well. When I'm doing the down thumb, 
like this. I'm actually hitting the string with that bony part of the knuckle, the thumb knuckle there. When I'm going down like this, it's actually more of the, the side of the tip of the thumb almost as it goes through. Now, the final mistake I wanna give a shout out today is popping, okay? Obviously, we've got the slap, we've got the pop, okay? But when you see a lot of people starting out with the pop, what they do is they're actually pulling it. They think it's like a movement that's coming from the finger itself, and it's not. It's kind of very similar to when we were talking about earlier about that thumb push, okay? There's actually very little, you know, thumb movement when you're playing slap bass. The same thing with the pop. You are not pulling up with the finger. You're rotating the arm away. So if we go all the way back to here, same thing, okay? You're slapping that thumb, but just by getting that rotation, the hand is like a seesaw, right? We've got one dude on this side, we've got one dude on this side, and we're kind of rotating that seesaw. So as we hold the instrument here, we slap a note, as we come to pop a note, let's say we're popping this C here on the, on the G string, okay? I'm not pulling so much as I'm actually rotating the hand away, and then the rotation then just pops that finger out, okay? So we could go, Now, just to wrap all of that up, remember, you need newish strings, you need a lowish action, experiment with the pickups, obviously, try out the neck pickup, try out both pickups, don't do the, the, the single bridge pickup thing. For me, it doesn't sound too cool. When it comes to the physical side of playing, make sure you're not doing the pushy thumb thing and you're actually rotating the arm and use those exercises that I showed you. Make sure that you've got the correct slapping technique. If you're doing down thumb, you've got the bounce. If you're doing up thumb, you're playing through the string. And then finally, make sure that you are not pulling those pops and instead you are rotating through the pop, just like a seesaw and the rotation makes that string pop. Now, with that said, I wanted to say a huge thank you to you for checking out this lesson. Hopefully, you've got some takeaways. And if you want to find more about Scott's Bass Lessons, just go to scottsbasslessons.com and you'll be able to grab a completely free trial for 14 days. Take the entire platform for a test drive. Learn from the best bass educators on the planet. And hopefully, I'll see you on the inside. Take it easy and I'll see you in the shed.